Diarrhea and respiratory infections are common causes of morbidity and mortality in low and middle income countries, including Bangladesh, especially among children under five. We welcome you all to the Environmental Intervention Unit of Infectious Disease Division at ICDDRB. Our research group mission is to conduct research that aims to reduce the disease burden from inadequate hygiene, poor water quality, and poor sanitation facilities in Bangladesh. Hand washing with soap is considered as one of the most effective ways of reducing infectious diseases. A recent review paper on hand washing suggested that effects of hand washing with soap is most consistent at about 48% reduction in diarrhea. However, in 2013, World Health Organization estimated a total of 297,000 deaths attributed to inadequate hand washing, mostly from low-income countries. Less than 1% of mothers in Bangladesh wash hands using soap and water before eating or feeding a child. Bangladesh National Hygiene Survey 2014 found that only 13% of the youngest children, just 57% of the mothers, and 51% of the fathers washed both hands with soap during hand washing. There are certain barriers in this low uptake of soap in Bangladesh. The high cost of soap compared to household income, sharing soap with others, soap missing from the hand washing station, washed out when placed near water. To overcome the barrier of promoting hand washing with bar soap, an easy-to-make low-cost hand-washing agent known as Soapy Water was developed in Kenyan schools and Peruvian households in 2008 and has been popular in Bangladesh. The biggest advantage of Soapy Water is this can be shared and this can be used at shared water point. Unlike bar soap, this can be kept in shared hand-washing station which ultimately increase the hand-washing frequency at low-income communities. And finally the cost. The cost to prepare a soapy water bottle is only 5 cents compared to a bar soap, which is about 36 cents in Bangladesh. Let's see the recipe of soapy water. Step 1. Pour the detergent into the bottle. Step 2. Create a hole into the bottle cap. Step 3. Tighten the cap and shake to mix. Recent studies conducted among communities and schools suggests that soapy water potentially increases hand washing practices at important key times. Soapy water was an acceptable and feasible hand cleansing agent both in rural and urban schools and in low income urban communities in Bangladesh. Soapy water intervention transcended the classic barriers of cost and the access to hand washing facilities in schools. And that is why the school teachers and school management committee members covered the recurrent cost of soapy water even after the project ended. Apart from community and school settings, soapy water was introduced and promoted in hospital settings at Dhaka. And the findings demonstrated that the hospital-based soapy water intervention can lead to significant increase in hand washing with soap practices. Hello, my name is Christine Marie George and I'm a faculty member at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. The idea was that when diarrhea patients come to the hospital, their family members are at high risk of also developing diarrhea episodes. And this is often due to poor hygiene practices within the household. And so for our intervention, we promoted the use of soapy water, which is a 20th of the cost of bar soap um, among this population and to improve their hygiene practices in the hospital as well as in the home. Despite the advantages of soapy water and its potential for increasing hand hygiene, it is not a well-known hand-washing agent among the mass population, in educational institutes, in community clinics, or by NGOs, policymakers, or the GOB. We struggle to make the benefits of water and sanitation hygiene available to the entire population. Recently, I've been working with the team here on soapy water. Another set of issues as we look at implementation at scale is institutionalization. And by institutions, I mean schools, but also hospitals, shops, tea stalls, restaurants. Uh, we want soapy water to be in all of those places. Uh, 
One reason is that it sets an example for others. Like, if children use soapy water at school, then they go home and they say, why don't we have soapy water here at home? If people see soapy water used in a hospital, they say, oh, that's a healthcare institution. They must think soapy water is a good thing because they're using it there. So we should also use it at home. And finally, any promotion or implementation at scale needs to depend on partnerships. There's a number of partnerships we need to form. We need to work with private sector manufacturer, manufacturers. We need to work with people who sell soap in many different places. And we need to work with institutions. And it's going to take a while to form these partnerships, but the partnerships are essential for implementation at scale. What we need to do to really allow soapy water to help people across all of Bangladesh is to spread the word. To spread the word on how easy it is to make and how easy it is to use, how inexpensive it is. I think globally there is a very good opportunity for soapy water not only to help people in Bangladesh, but for Bangladesh to lead by example and encourage other countries to take this up as well. Soapy water can make a big contribution to Bangladesh. It can reduce diarrhea, it can reduce respiratory disease, it can save lives. Furthermore, we want to promote the uptake of this low-cost hand-washing agent, soapy water, among the low-income population to encourage hygiene practices.